What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Daniel, and welcome back to the video. Today I'm doing race 6 for the 2023 Toyota Save Mart 350. Let's go ahead and just jump straight into it. This week in the NASCAR Cup Series headed out to wine country for the Cup Race at Sonoma Raceway, the 1.99 mile road course, the second road course series of the 2023 season, and the 16th NASCAR Cup Race of the 2023 season as well. This also is the final race on the Fox Network. After this we have a one week break, and then of course after NBC will take over, and Jay McGregor Murray will be in the Fox Sports booth as well. Another thing to know is that this race, unlike like very slimmer Dakota, will have no stage gel. So teams are going to be very creative with their strategies and what strategies they come up with and be really, really creative throughout the day. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump into picks. Before we go ahead and jump into picks, let's take a look at the weather for this weekend. So weather is actually going to be surprisingly cooler than normal for the Sonoma time. It's going to be 7 degrees as a high. We did 55 degrees as a low of right now. Only a 20% chance of rain with mostly cloudy skies. The weather could change throughout the week and we could have rain which would bring out the rain tires, but the weather's looking really strong for this weekend, but it's also going to be cooler this weekend, so if you're going to Cup Series Race at Sonoma, make sure to bring a jacket out to the track. So now, let's finally go ahead and jump into picks. For those who are new to the channel, we've had some new subscribers as of recently. Here's how picks work on the channel. For this week, because it's a road course race, you got three suck picks, three drivers I expect struggle throughout the weekend, three underdog picks, three drivers I expect on really, really well under fun of coming, who are going to have a good run, who usually don't have a good run in road courses. And I'm going to do the winner's pick, the driver I think is going to win. And then unlike the Cup Series, usually when I do five, for this week, because like I said, it's a road course, we got six drivers need to watch out for for this weekend, along with the winner. So now, let's gonna go ahead and, and jump into picks. Who are my suck picks for the Toyota Save Mark 350? My first suck pick is a driver that normally I would put in the ones to watch category. But this guy has had a terrible 2023 season with only, I believe, three or four top 10 so far in 2023. And didn't run really good, if I'm not mistaken, at Circuit Americas earlier this year, which is surprising. My first suck pick is a driver of the 14 for Stuart Haas Racing, Chase Briscoe. Like I said, Chase Briscoe is generally really, really good at road courses. However, it seems like this year in 2023, he has really struggled on the racetrack at every type of racetrack x outside of that little stretch we had in the middle portion of the early portion of the year plus his 14 team has struggled with fire off speed in 2023 so i think chase briscoe is going to struggle and not have a good run this week in the sonoma i think he's going to have a pretty bad run my second suck pick for this weekend at Sonoma is a driver of the 10 car for Stuart Haas Racing, Eric Amarola. Eric Amarola historically has not ran really good at road courses. Now, he is going to run the Xfinity Series race with RSS Racing this weekend at Sonoma. Of course, that's the inaugural event for the Xfinity Series. However, I think Eric Amarola, even with that experience from Xfinity, he is going to struggle. Because if I'm not mistaken, he ran the Xfinity race at Coda, and it really didn't help him much at Coda. I sadly think Eric Amarola is going to run pretty bad. Plus, generally in 2023, Eric Amarola has not ran really well so i think he is going to struggle this weekend at sonoma and the third and final driver that i think is going to struggle this weekend is probably a big surprise because this guy to a lot of people is probably a championship threat and a championship contender and used to be really good at road courses however joe gibbs racing organization itself has not ran a good at road courses, especially as of recently my third suck pick is going to be denny hamlin like i said denny hamlin the last few road courses really the last two years since the action car really came around denny hamlin has struggled at road courses and i think denny hamlin once again is going to struggle and run outside the top 20 seems like a lot of teams have caught up to Joe Gibbs on the road course side of things and I think Denny Hamill sadly will not have a good run in that number 11 car I think Joe Gibbs is going to struggle on speed and I think he's not going to run well this weekend at Sonoma and now we're going ahead and jump on the underdog picks for Toy to Save Mark 350. Who are my underdog picks? My first underdog pick is a driver that typically would not put in the underdog category for road courses because this guy has not generally been really good at road courses. However, I have seen a lot more pace and a lot more speed from this guy, especially in the last year since going to 2311 racing. And I feel like this guy, especially with his teammate being really good at road courses, I think his team is going to be able to help him out. My first underdog pick is a driver of the 23 car for 2311 racing, and that is Bubble Walls. Like I said, Bubble Walls used to be terrible road courses when he drove for Petty, Richard Petty Motorsports. However, I think Bubble Walls has been generally improving as a driver on the road course side of things, and I think with the help of Reddick, he is going to run a lot better this weekend and contend for potentially a top 15 and get back on track for what happened to Gateway. I think it's back on track and contends for a top 10 this weekend at Sonoma. My second underdog pick is a driver who's also historically been really good at road courses in his NASCAR Cup Series career. Doesn't matter the type of equipment. My second underdog pick is a driver of the 34 car for Frommer Motorsports, and that is Michael McDowell. 
Like I said, Michael Nadal has been very, very good at road courses throughout his career. Was really strong at Watkins going with the next-gen car. And in general, so far in 2023, I think he's been ran really good and really, really awesome. So I think Michael Nadal is going to have a really strong run. I think the equipment is going to be there this weekend. And I think Michael Nadal has a very good chance and a really strong shot for potentially a top-five run this weekend at Sonoma. And the third and final driver, basically is an underdog pick for this weekend at Sonoma, is a driver who is a rookie in the rookie class. But I was really impressed with how well he ran at Kona. He ran in the top 10 all day, pretty much. I believe he ended up finishing in the top 10 as well. My third underdog pick is a driver of the 54 car for Joe Gibbs Racing, Ty Gibbs. I feel like Ty Gibbs has generally been improving as the year has gone on and has been coming into his own as a race car driver as a rookie. It would not surprise me if he's an underdog to win the race overall because of how good he's been at road course throughout his career but i think ty gets will have a good chance and a good shot to be up front and contend for a potential top 10 or even maybe a top five this weekend i think he's got a good chance to have a good run and now we're going ahead and jump on to the winner's pick for the toyota save mar 350 who is my winner's pick my winner's pick i did a little historical context this guy, every time he's kind of like on a redemption tour, an revenge tour, this guy tends to win here. Back in 2008, he won this race, the first year drove for Joe Gibbs Racing. And in 2015, coming back from his injury suffered at Daytona, he went on to win at Sonoma. My race winner's pick is a driver of the eight car for Rich Schultz Racing, Kyle Busch. I think Kyle Busch is going to go back-to-back this weekend. The A-team was very, very fast at Coda. They ended up finishing runner-up to Tyler Reddick, and I almost did end up picking Tyler Reddick. But I think that this A-team is going to be very fast, plus when Reddick was in this A-car, they ended up winning two road course races, and Reddick was always up front. I think Kyle Busch will, will get the win this weekend with the McLaren colors, get his fourth win in 2023, lead all drivers in the wins comp, and I think he's going to start going on a tear when it comes to wins. I think Kyle Busch is going to get it done. He's going to be fast, really quick, and he's my pick to win do it a toy to save mark 350 and now we're going ahead and jump onto the drivers you need to watch out for for this weekend at sonoma who are the drivers you should watch out for the first driver you should watch out for is a driver of the 45 car for 2311 racing tyler reddick tyler reddick is the defending winner at road course of course the last time was in road course at circuit americas he went on to win and put up a dominating clinic and he almost was my pick going into this weekend but i've seen a little bit of inconsistencies from toyota's in the past especially on the road courses that being said even with the inconsistent issues i think tyler Reddick is going to be fast, really strong, really quick, and will contend for the victory. Might be the guy who could get a victory this weekend at Sonoma. The second driver you should watch out for is the driver of the five car for Hendrick Motorsports, Kyle Larson. Kyle Larson won here at Sonoma back in 2021 and is known to qualify on the pole usually. So he's probably going to end up winning the pole, but tends to basically use his tires up way too quickly. That being said, I think Larson is going to be a threat. I think he's going to win the Xfinity Series race as well, but I think Kyle Larson could easily win the Cup Series race as well, and he's definitely one to keep an eye out for this weekend at Sonoma. The third driver to watch out for is a driver who returns to NASCAR Cup Series this week after a one-race suspension, and that's the driver of the nine car for Hendrick Motorsports, Chase Elliott. Like I just said, Chase Elliott is returning this week after being suspended after right rear and Denny Hamill down the straightaway at Charlotte. I think Chase Elliott is going to be a threat. Chase Elliott historically has been really, really good at road courses throughout his career, and I expect Hendrick Motorsports to bring him a very fast and a really strong car and will contend for the victory this weekend at Sonoma. The fourth driver you should watch out for for this week in Sonoma is a driver of the 99 car for Trackhouse Racing, Daniel Suarez. Daniel Suarez is the defending winner of the NASCAR Cup Series race here at Sonoma. But not only that, one of the strongest races he had in 2023 was at Circuit of the Americas. He had a shot at winning that race. And also, Daniel Suarez is going to have some experience from racing the Xfinity Series race the day prior. So I think Daniel Suarez is going to be contender. I think he's going to be very, very fast. Very, very quick, and I expect that we're going to see him have a really good chance and shot to win the cup race and maybe get his first win of 2023 and go back-to-back at Sonoma. Fifth driver to watch out for for this weekend at Sonoma is the driver of the 24 car for Hendrick Motorsports, and that is William Byron. William Byron may be the strongest Hendrick driver currently at the moment right now and has been fast at every type of track and seems like he's coming in his own in the 2023 season. And he was also really strong in one of the quickest cars at Coda as well. So I think William Byron is going to be fast. I think he's going to be really, really strong, really quick. I think William Byron has a very good chance to win the cup race at Sonoma. 
And the sixth and final driver you need to watch out for for this weekend at Sonoma is a driver of the 16 car for Call Racing, A.J. Allmendinger. A.J. Allmendinger definitely has not had a good year in 2023 for Cup Sanders. However, he has won an Xfinity Series race this year on road course, that being the Circuit Americas, and is going to run the Cup Xfinity Series race at Sonoma this weekend, and he may end up going out to win there. I think Allmendinger is going to be really, really fast, really strong, really, really quick. And I think Kolg is going to bring a very fast piece for this weekend at Sonoma. So he's the last guy I think you need to watch out for this weekend. So those are my race picks for the Cup race at Sonoma. Just a reminder, my suck picks are Chase Briscoe, Eric Omrol, Denny Hamlin. My underdog picks are Bubba Wallace, Michael McDowell, Ty Gibbs. My winner's pick is Kyle Busch. And the ones to watch are Tyler Reddick, Kyle Larson, Chase Elliott, Daniel Suarez, William Byron, and A.J. Allmendinger. Those are my race picks. So, that is going to be it for the race six video for the 2023 Toyota Save Mart 350 at Sonoma. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel notifications on us provide when a video does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram as per my Patreon as well. Link to description below with that and comment your thoughts below and your picks below for this weekend at Sonoma. Let me know your suck picks, let me know your underdog picks, let me know your winner's pick, and let me know drivers you're watching now for, for this weekend. Let me know your picks in the comments below. Tomorrow on the channel, we're going to have a NASCAR news video likely on the channel as well. There could be a second video up on the channel today, but I'm not expecting another video on the channel. There will be a NASCAR news video up on the channel tomorrow. Then on Saturday, there's going to be two videos on the channel. We're going to be talking about Carson Hosovar and talking about where he may be end up going in 2024. And we're also going to be talking about the Xfinity Series race when that concludes in the evening. And then, of course, on Sunday, we're going to have the NASCAR Cup Series race review from Sonoma. And we'll have a lot of content dropping. I've also got the big uh, Top 100 Greatest NASCAR Drivers Project that is going to be coming out on the Tuesday of next week. Make sure to tune into that. So anyways, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode, and I'll see you guys next time for more great, awesome NASCAR content and other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.